Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to my kitchen. Um, no, it's not my kitchen. <laughs> this is actually um, my studio space. Um, it's in our guest room, and it has beautiful light streaming in, and it's a little bit brighter in here. And um, so I thought that I would bring my kitchen to my studio um, because I was look I was in the mood for something nice. Um, I've had to work um, in our plant nursery for the past four days. And it's always, um, after, you know, being essential for a certain number of days, um, it's a lot of stress. And so it's nice to be home. Uh, I know that's a little bit different, um, than what most of you are going through right now. Um, but also very similar to what some of you or most of you are going through right now. I know we're all having our own um, little bits and pieces in the ways that we're dealing. Um, and so I woke up this morning and, you know, I had my um, hot, hot coffee um, with Jeremy in the office. Um, we drank, um, I, I want, well, I want to show you uh, my very favorite coffee drink. So, um, like I said, really on the regular when I wake up in the morning, um, at least uh, mostly during like winter, fall, but, and then into spring, um, I drink, you know, hot coffee in the morning. Once it gets to summer, um, it's really hot outside and I really love iced coffee. Always have loved iced coffee. And, um, a couple of weeks ago when all of this went down, like this quarantine situation, um, I watched a video by Bon Appetit where one of, uh, the women that are on that, uh, that are in the test kitchen or in this case, she was in her home made, uh, a coffee beverage that I thought looked pretty interesting. Uh, I liked everything that was in it. And so, um, I got the bits and pieces to try it and it is like my new favorite thing. So I wake up in the morning, I have a cup of hot coffee. And then when I, before I go off to work, usually I make myself, um, in like a to go mug, uh, this cup of coffee. So I want to share that with you today. Um, and maybe give you a little something extra to try. Uh, it is very, it's, it's super different than anything I've had before, but like I said, I'm absolutely in love. And so I hope you guys like it. Um, in celebration of being at home, <laughs> I guess, um, I have chosen a glass that is like very cozy to me. Um, it fits in my hand very well. I drink wine out of these. I thought about drinking wine this morning, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Um, I'm not quite there. Um, but this is the glass that I'm going to make this in today and I'm excited to drink my coffee beverage out of it. I haven't been able to do that. Usually, like I said, it's in a to-go mug. So I'm going to take the time, like this is actually pretty clean, but I'm going to take the time to shine this. So, um, if you get some steam on the inside and sometimes you can like use steam over the sink, but I don't have that. So I have this <sighs> little bit of steam, clean cloth. Gently, don't like impale yourself, gently going around the side of the glass and then along the bottom of the glass. Um, and then, you know, the forgotten base. Give yourself a little extra, a little extra sheen. You deserve it for being at home or for not being at home, whatever you're doing today. So this is my fancy glass. Um, and then we're just going to go with it. So I grab some ice cubes and I'm going to like kind of count them. One, because it's like a fancy glass and I don't want to pour them in. But two, I actually don't know how much glass fits or how much ice fits in this glass. So I'm just going to go with it. I think. Yeah, that'll be good. I didn't use the whole thing. But yeah, I've got about this much ice. Any amount of ice will do. Um, for this beverage, Jeremy has started making me cold brew. Now you don't have to use cold brew. Uh, the recipe I think originally calls for cold brew, but you can also use espresso. Um, if you've got like an aero press or if you've got an espresso machine, you can use that. You can actually use coffee that's chilled, coffee from the day before, um, or you know, 
if you're not using like a glass glass, you can pour hot coffee and then ice and then do this. It'll just be a little bit more diluted. So I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to fill it up here. I'm going to pull this back a little bit so you can see this is my guy. There we go. I'm going to fill it up probably about two thirds of the way. So since he's got a big old belly, that's probably about two thirds. I'm going to stop there. I might add a little bit more, but we're going to go with that. So it's already a beautiful looking beverage. Like I could just drink this right now, but I'm not going to do that because I've got more things. So, um, let's see. Tonic. So I have always loved tonic. I don't really think I like gin and tonics. I've tried them many times and I I haven't quite gotten the knack, but just drinking tonic, I've, I love tonic. I love the flavor of tonic. Um, and so I usually use half of this, but it's in a bigger glass. Um, so I'm just going to go, and you'll notice it starts to get kind of fizzy and nice. I'm going to go to about right there until you get like a little bit of a lightness. And that's almost half. Um, and then I've got some lemon here. So these are my, these are my lemon slices. Um, so this is, I've got like the little booty that you don't never really know what to do with, but it's got quite a bit of juice. And then I've got one of these. Um, and so that's about a third of a lemon, something like that. So I'm going to squeeze in this lemon, give it some juice, good amount of lemon there. Just give it a, a little little chink chink and then I'm going to take this and kind of twist it a little bit so it takes a shape so I've got it twisted and then I'm just going to stick it right down in there little purdy you know we deserve a little purdy so this is it this is all there is I've got uh cold brew tonic and lemon um and we've got our little a little guy in there I didn't put it on the side of the glass wait Full on, there we go, full on cooking show times, gorge. Okay, so this is just my very favorite thing. It's got this nice little foam on the top. Um, mm. Cheers, mates. Mm. Mm -hmm. So it's like bright. <laughs> it's bright. It, but you can taste the tonic. The coffee flavor is there. It's kind of like, and you can sweeten this if you want. Um, there's sweetener in the tonic. If you don't like tonic, um, Molly says that you can use uh, club soda and then like sweeten it a little bit so that you don't get the quinine flavor, but you get the, you still get the bubbles and the, and a little bit of like a sweetness to it. So um, definitely like, with this situation, it's like maybe like grapefruits, but definitely like that citrus height. Um, you can pr you could probably use like a lime if you wanted to, um, but the lemon is delish. And um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you today. So if you have any questions about it, let me know. If you try it, let me know. I hope that um, I hope that if you do try it, you like it. Like I said, it's the best to me. It's like the best maybe iced tea I've ever had. And I know it's not iced tea, but it's just like, that's kind of the level of um, darkness that it has to it is like a nice, strong, brewed black tea, um, but then with bubbles and lemon, um, and then of course the quinine flavor. So I hope you like it and yeah, I'm just going to sit here and enjoy this for a minute. I think my, my day at home, my fancy glass and my delicious, my delicious brews. Um, I'll see you next time.